Hey, welcome back to Meadville High School. And, uh, hey, I'm, I'm joined right now by the guy I'm going to give the MVP of the game to. And uh, that's the uh, class of 2001, I believe it was, Keith Dennis, uh, the uh, owner at Dennis Construction. Keith, I tell you what, you looked like you were taking that pretty serious out there. Yeah, step on that court, you got to give it all you got every time. It appeared to me that you were. As, uh, this game, we uh, we weren't giving the Purple team much of a chance in this one as we looked at the rosters. Of course, you had a couple of the youngsters on there, uh, Lee Young and Keaton Duncan, guys who had great basketball careers at Meadville here just like yourself. But you also got to throw in guys like Lonnie Trenham, Todd Young, and, uh, and guys like that. But I thought everybody played pretty well. Uh, even, uh, even the guys that are a little more elders, I, I would guess you would say, on the team, still got out there, got after it. Like you say, once you step on the court, man, and you lace them up, you got to get serious about it. That's right. Every time we get out there, we just try to – to try to give it a, give it our all and work as a team. And uh, well, I tell you what, uh, I really enjoyed watching it again. The intensity that you brought to the game and things like that. Uh, I know, of course, you got a little court there at home in your driveway and things like that. Did you go out and do any shooting, anything? Get prepared for the game. Uh, my kids are all in, pretty involved in sports, so we're we're usually here at the gym every night for a couple hours shooting around. So I usually pick up the ball a little bit during that. Well, yeah, that definitely helps. Uh, some people were trying to talk me into coming out here and doing it. I said, no way. Me and Baker, neither one, were going to get out here and do this. But uh, I tell you what, it was a lot of fun watching you guys. And again, really great. Of course, you being a big a business owner in the community now and things like that. It's great to see a, a community like ours, a town like ours, come together, support the school uh, and everything like that. And just everybody come together. Like we talked about with uh, Holly Birch Boxley, it's a special place. That's right. Every time uh, Meadville needs something, everybody kind of pulls together and is there and has everybody's back. And what's funny, we all kind of take that for granted when we're growing up, don't we? That's right. <laughs> Well, uh, I tell you what, Keith, I won't keep you up here long. We got a throng of fans, probably some autograph seekers and things like that down here. I'm sure that, that, that my nephew Brandon Morgan, he wished he would have been here this evening, of course. Yeah. One of your old teammates, and uh, and I'm sure if we were to ask him, he probably thinks he would have outplayed you. Yeah, I'm sure he was. He was going to catch a fight, but he had guards uh, this weekend, so he he couldn't make it. All right, well that that was it. Clint Baker, he said he might have played too if he could have been here. He had guard duty as well, even as old as he is. So I tell you what, Keith, I'll let you go. I just wanted to holler at you. I was impressed with the intensity that you brought to it, the way you still. Uh, Still bring it out there on the court, being what about uh, twelve years removed from high school, somewhere yep, in that yep. neighborhood now. How do you, how do you do it, my friend? How do you stay in such good shape? Is those kids helping you? Yep, they're they're running me pretty hard. <laughs> All right, keep up the good work. You got a great reputation out there in the uh, in the construction and home building business. Keep up the good work there, and uh, it's a real pleasure having you. All right, we appreciate you guys being involved. Absolutely, that's Keith Dennis, and uh, that's going to wrap things up from here at Meadville High School. Uh, of course, uh, folks, if you want to. Uh, order DVDs to the game. Those are going to be available at $25 uh, a piece, and uh, we'll get those put out not too long after the game. We'll get those put together. If you want to order those, you can either uh, uh, look me up on Facebook, uh, just Rod Tompkins on Facebook, or Jim Bly WHB on Facebook. Uh, you can also uh, email me at sportsguy. That's sportsguy, S P O R T S G U Y 09. 07 at gmail.com or you can give me a call 660-247-2701 Jim jump in here for a second we want to help you uh, wrap up the broadcast here as we appreciate all the uh, hard work that you put in and things as well uh, Jim we talked a little bit about a thing called Roku earlier in the broadcast and it has a lot to do with live streaming of games and events like these explain what it is how folks can get involved with it and just how it will benefit them well it's the alternative to, t to, to satellite and cable TV people are tired of paying for four or six channels that they watch so you can get Roku it's like Netflix um, except with Roku you have to have a, 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 a a little uh, coaster sized device that you hook to your computer with the uh, uh, HDMI or whatever cables, but it's a, it's a great thing, and that's uh, the way the world's going to uh, web based uh, TV watching these days. All right, hey, I appreciate that. We got another special guest here. We're going to grab one more person. She was a uh an instrumental part of this game and another one of those people's or people that whenever I said I was going to be doing the game uh, wanted to jump right on board for sponsorship that's uh, Lindy Hal Donahoe and we're going to talk to Lindy here for a second if we can lend her the headset there Mr. Bly okay Lindy uh, <laughs> Lindy Hal Donahoe joins us Lindy thanks a lot for coming up you know uh it's been a while since uh, 1993, 94, 95. Just a <laughs> it, I think you graduated in 95. It seems like a memory's. Uh, well, correct. I graduated in 96. 96. Okay. Mm -hmm. I knew it was one year, one way or the other. But uh, uh, either way, I was pretty impressed with the ladies tonight. You guys got out there, really got after it. How much uh, working out for this game did you do? Well, not chasing enough. Chasing the kids around, maybe. Is that <laughs> yeah, that, workout? my workout was chasing the kids around. I definitely didn't do enough, but it was fun. We had a blast, and it was nice, you know, seeing everyone, and. It kind of um, 
Like I was just telling someone, look at the void that you have after you have played with such a wonderful team. Like it never is filled. That void isn't. So tonight it was just a little bit. Just getting out there with everyone and getting to throw around the ball, run down the court, have some good laughs. You know, it was so nice because I don't. You know, to rekindle the sisterhood, yes. that kind of thing. Yes, because we all don't that. live really that far away from each other. But you know, you get busy with your family, and you have kids, jobs, and you just don't see each other. Right, and uh, everybody got ki- you know kids that are starting to play and everything like mm-hmm. that. Now, uh, we were impressed. I, th- I thought you played well. I thought Holly Birch Boxley uh, was in real good shape, played well. I was really impressed with uh, with ladies like uh, Jenny Boone Thorne, who was class oh, of yes. 1988. Oh yes, she's an intense competitor. I'm going to put her and Keith Dennis right in the same category yes. when it comes to competitors. Yes, yes. Uh, another one, Jenny Beach, she's still throwing those passes. I asked somebody, I said, are they going to be ready for Jenny's passes? Because I remember what they used to be like. And that's what I told her. Actually, we had that conversation on the bench when we went to the bench. She said, um, she said, I'm sorry about that pass. I said, no, I just have to wake up my hands. And I said, but what you have to remember is that is um, that some of these girls didn't play with you, and they don't realize how hard she can throw that ball. And so a couple times I heard the girl say, ouch, Jenny, that hurt. You know, <laughs> but, yeah, she definitely has an arm. And uh, Jenny Collins, she played a great game out there. I don't know that she hardly ever came out of the basketball game, it seemed like at least, is uh, everybody wants her out there on the floor. Arguably, the certainly uh, arguably the, the best uh, ladies player that's ever played at Meadville High School. There's been a lot of really good ones, yourself included, and a lot of other ones. And no slight to anyone, but to go on and play at the level she did and everything. And I tell you what, she, uh, she brings a class and an intensity to the floor that you just don't see very often. Yes. Uh, also want to uh, let you know how much we appreciate the sponsorship well, of the broadcast, you. 4D Guns and Ammo. Yes. They're in Wheeling. A lot of folks got to hear about that tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, they can look up 4D on Facebook. Is that correct? Yes, on Facebook under Jim Donahoe. Um, and actually, the gun show is going on at Chillicothe um, this weekend. So he's over there. He's got a booth set up. Oh, so. awesome. Uh-huh. Awesome. They always do a real nice job with mm-hmm. that. So I encourage folks to get out mm-hmm. and attend that as well. Mm-hmm. Any, any closing thoughts you got here this evening, Wendy? No, I just wish that, you know, it'd be nice if we could do this more often, you know, it's great that so many people come out for such a good cause, and you know, hopefully, um, we hopefully raised a lot of money tonight. But there, someone said, "Are you guys going to be ready to do this next year?" Well, I can guarantee if we are even thinking about doing it next year, we're starting practice tomorrow. Right, right, <laughs> right. That's still a lot of competitor so, in all of you guys, and I, yes, that's there something is. I can really appreciate. And, yes. and I'm glad to see that. But I really appreciate you coming up, having a few words with us, and everything like that. Enjoyed watching you play out there tonight. You know. Uh, Best of luck to you, uh, with you, your family, the business, everything like that in, in well, future years. We look forward to seeing a lot more of you. Well, thank you. Absolutely. That's Lindy uh, Hal Donahoe, one of the uh, participants in tonight's game. And uh, thanks to Lindy for coming up, and uh, we'll see her again sometime soon. Jim, we're going to switch over. I, I kind of interrupted you, but I wanted to make sure I grabbed Lindy whenever she oh, got up fine. here. And here comes one more. we got Jenny Collins uh, coming up as well. And, well. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to mention that, uh, you know, we've got some baseball shows and uh, Royals, a lot of Royal stuff going on right now with 810WHB TV and, of course, 810WHB on the radio. Um, the Hot Stove shows every Wednesday. We're getting ready to start a show with Willie Wilson, and he's going to head to uh, 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 spring training uh, the first, I think, week, week in March, so we're going to start a show with him down there. So, you know, we've got also got sports psychology show. We're doing basketball games all the time, high school stuff, so... Just kind of keep your eye out um, on the calendar page for what's going on with 810WHB TV. It's a, still a fairly new product. It's been around about a year now. Right. Um, so uh, we just got back from Super Bowl Radio Row, which was quite fun. Uh, uh, Frank, we had Frank um, I, Callis, I can never the comedian. Um, Kelly Endo. Hey, he was the most viewed uh, interview and that that we had. I mean, he was great. And, uh, of course, uh, 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 uh uh, the Cone a reporter uh, for ESPN, she was right. a good one. And uh, but yeah, it's 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 new and growing product. If anybody out there would like for us to broadcast their event, they can contact me. Uh, my contact information is on the the website. So uh, we're you know we're open to putting crews all over and, and making it a network, a ESPN type network for high school or college sports or whatever we can broadcast. Sounds good. Appreciate that, Jim. Stay fo You know, make sure to keep your eye out for that, folks. We have got one more interview before we wrap things up here. And uh, sh- and now we're joined by Jenny Veach Collins here, and uh, I tell you what, still the uh, still the undisputed leader of that 93, 94, 95 oh. uh, Lady Eagles team, uh, still the floor general out there. I thought you played really well, Jenny. That had to be a lot of fun. It looked like it from up here. It was awesome. It was nice to have a little reunion with the girls and get to play with a few younger ones as well. 
And uh, I'll tell you what, I was telling folks earlier that whenever I, I uh, put out the message that we're going to be broadcasting the games, looking for sponsorship, your parents, the very first ones to uh, step up and sponsor the broadcast, let them know. I'm going to tell them right now, but you let them know just how much we appreciate that. I sure will. They've always been great support, so they and still continue to. Absolutely. We know that they were uh, tuned in for the games this evening. Part of the ceremony, we missed some technical difficulties and things like that. We apologize for that, but uh, we were doing our best to get that all out there. It was a lot of fun, and all of you ladies, uh, I was really impressed. Still in great state, still uh, still big-time competitors, going all the way back to 1975. <laughs> uh, that was uh, pretty impressive stuff. As uh, Of course, the class of 1975 was represented by Sherry Crookshanks-Williams, and uh, she played good. She got out there, she got after it, and it, it was a lot of fun. It was a great time. Well, uh, the, uh, we talked about uh, a little bit with uh, Lindy there. We also talked to Holly earlier and things like that. Uh, this is not about basketball. Kind of uh, this is a phrase that, that I coined just a minute ago, rekindling the sisterhood of those great basketball teams that you guys were involved with. Not just your 93, 94, and the 94, 95 teams, but then you move up the 2008 team and a lot of years in between there. And uh, all the ladies that ever played basketball here in the purple and white, a great sisterhood among all of you. We sure do. We just have a great little community here. And as you can see by all the fans that still came out 20 years later to watch us play and support us, it's unreal. What kind of words of wisdom did Coach Hardy have for you all down there? Well, hustle, of course, but we don't have that exactly as much as we did 20 years ago. But we tried. We just were missing a little bit of our uh, height in there tonight. We were talking a little bit about, of course, you were always known for your skills at the point guard position, your speed and your, your passing abilities. You threw some really nice passes there this Thank evening. You. <laughs> it appears to me you still play a little basketball every now and then. Actually, I don't, but I do have a son that's 8 years old, and I help coach his team. He gets to shoot on an 8-foot rim, so a little different, but... I haven't played in several years, actually, but it was fun tonight. We well, sure sure can't tell. I'll oh, tell you, thank what, you. <laughs> ladies like yourself and Stacey Hicks Baker and Lindy and Holly and, and all of them, people have just maintained their condition over the years, and uh, it was a lot of fun watching. Just uh, the joy that it brought to everything was the best part about it all to me. Well, thank you. We sure enjoyed it too. We didn't know how it would be 20 years later, but we still got out there and had a great time. Ready to do it again next year? Uh, I don't know. I'll tell you tomorrow if I can tell it that or not. <laughs> That's how these things go. Usually, <laughs> well, I will keep you here a long time. I figured you'd want to jump on talk to us a little bit we wanted to talk about you as as uh, i've already thrown it out there i've already called you the uh, the best basketball player in the history of the lady Eagles. Oh, well, so thank I, put you. That out I there, appreciate so. that well uh, i tell you what really enjoyed talking to you thanks for coming up we'll let you go enjoy the rest of the evening okay and uh, again we appreciate all the support thanks a lot appreciate it absolutely that's jenny veach collins and uh, she had a fine game here this evening appreciate her coming up i'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here jim and i and uh i tell you what the crowd hanging around here still hundreds of people here in the gym at meadville and uh, Jim, we knew this was going to be a good time. Do you, did you expect it to be quite this big? Well, just being around Meadville the short time I have been, yes, I did. I mean, this town is just in, into their – and even people from outside will come and cheer on Meadville um, at, at their home game. So it's always a good crowd here, and uh, really appreciate you having us come out and 810 WHB TV come out and, and broadcast this game for you. If you don't mind, I'm going to run down our list of sponsors right. one more time, my friend. They include Parsons Creek General Store in Meadville, James Cowan Trucking Incorporated of Meadville, the Cowan family. That includes James, Carrie, Kaylee, Ashley, Emily, and Jace. Also, Mr. Bill's Barbecue and Catering Service of Hamilton, Bill and Pam Engler, the proprietors there. PC's Workwear in Chillicothe, the Bank of Brookfield Burton at Meadville, Dave Mayberry of the United Country's Graham Agency, Ron Bowyer, he's your Lewis Hybrids dealer in Meadville, 4D Guns and Ammo. That's in Wheeling, Jim Donahoe and Lindy, uh, the owners there. Bill Tompkins Flooring. Also, Craig's Ag Repair of Meadville, that's Craig and Diane Ward. Kathy Bowyer, your Mary Kay consultant in Meadville. Bill and Carolyn Tompkins, also Butterfield and Associates Grain. TP's Barbershop of Chillicothe, and Steve and Bev Howe. They're your local Asgro DeCab dealers here in the Meadville area. Folks still out on the floor enjoying themselves. I see George Duncan out there shooting the basketball even. And uh, being guarded by Keaton, that's not going to go George's way. That's going to wrap things up from here at Meadville. On behalf of myself, I want to thank Clint Baker, Todd Young, Lonnie Trinham, and Jim Bly all for being a part of the broadcast this evening. Thanks to all them. Thanks to you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks to all our fine sponsors. That's going to wrap things up from here at Meadville on 810 WHB-TV.